Vignettes is a design series that is built to celebrate the design and culinary communities of Edmonton. Pop-up design space is usually a, a, a quick up and out kind of thing where it would be you'd have a one day only kind of show and it's in and it's out uh, and it's a collaboration project of whoever you want to feature at that event last year one day only and then uh, we partnered up with the city with EDC and they challenged me to go a little bit bigger longer and add the culinary components so once we did that here we are and now we've got a two weekend long festival we are creating awareness around the design industry. But I think there's a huge need to show show what we have in our city and, and promote that design industry. Tonight is the grand opening of the vignettes. It's the VIP uh, preview reception. There's so much going on here tonight. I, I'm running around in circles. Um, tonight, uh, when guests come, they'll be able to enter through the magnificent uh, background you see here, our tunnels that we have built. Uh, the reason we did this entrance was I always think that everything should be an experience. I really wanted people to have a, a taste of, is this part of Edmonton? I can't believe Edmonton's got something like this going on. Once they get in, they're gonna be blown away by the 10 vignettes that have been installed in here. And then accompanied with some great beverages, live music, and some uh, great fundraising for local children's charities. relationship with the culinary scene so they challenged me what what could we come up with what would we do we decided well we'll build restaurants instead of a table and give them their own opportunity to host a really exclusive private dining experience for us we found like design and culinary such a natural fit to create a, an event and an opportunity out of designers and chefs um, it all comes from the same natural creative Place. This hasn't been done in Edmonton and it, it's not something that people have seen before. So we've partnered with Blue Play, Zen and Black Pearl. Today we're going to be having uh, some oysters, uh, Beaujolais oysters from the East Coast. Second, uh, we're gonna also going to have uh, a seafood stew. We're going to have king crab. We're going to have some clams, some mussels, some uh, fresh fish. Then we're going to finish off with the lobster bait. Everyone family style, grab a couple, smash them and just uh, make a mess and uh, have fun. I'm excited to see what they have and see what they've done. I'm always curious to see what local artists can do. Yeah, and working with the designers are, is just off the wall, is off the wall nuts. They're all, they're all a little bit crazy in their own charming way. Uh, it's kind of like working with chefs. The designers and the chefs are like peanut butter and jelly, for sure. Well, we got a bunch of tapas going out on the pull-up bar, uh, like a green pea soup with some uh, Irving's um, crispy pork belly, garnish and some chili oil, braised Alberta lamb shank, wild mushrooms, Jasic chocolate demi, and all the cooks are gonna be inside of a sea can. Uh, and it's the middle of a parking lot for one night, which is amazing. <laughs> Tonight for the vignettes dinner, we'll be doing a uh, first course of ceviche, cured fish, oysters, and caviar. A second course, we'll be doing an assortment of grilled meats and uh, octopus and vegetables on skewers. And for third course, we'll be doing a semi-traditional Spanish paella. And for dessert, we have an orange and almond cake. It's always good to challenge yourself, get outside of the box. I think this gives everyone an opportunity to express who they are and what they are and showcase what they really want to outside of not having a client or someone telling them what they can and can't do. As Edmontonians, I think we need to be a little bit more proud and have a little bit more swag in our walk about what we've built here. And I think it starts with us being able to talk about our story in a different way. It's just such a fun event, even for me, despite pulling my hair out and being stressed to the max. I mean, I, I walk around once at the end of the days, every night when everyone's gone by myself and I look at what's been created and I'm just, it gives me goosebumps.